Today we stand at the Grosbeek Cemetery, and behind us lay many Canadian soldiers who fought for, for the liberation of the Netherlands. And as a Dutch person who was, who was born after the war, can you tell us what it feels and what it's like to be here? Well, it, uh, it's not only the cool weather, but I get goosebumps every time I see this. And uh, being of Dutch descent and also having a history of being in the Canadian military for, not, for 10 years as a captain, then, you know, it's a, double, it's a double whammy here. One, losing so many young Canadians, and secondly, the, uh, just a feeling of thanksgiving I feel as a Dutch Canadian of what the Canadian soldiers did to liberate this country in May of 1945. Just tremendous. Uh, well, my experience with Ruby is I've just, I've been really impressed by her capacity to understand. A lot of people have told me, though, that they thought that she'd be too young to get it or that maybe the concepts would be too big, but really they're not. The children understand far more than we can imagine, I think. And I think at this age, they, it makes such an impression on them. I think it's so important that this, this is a perfect age for them to be reaching out to the, those who are you know, now in their 90s and, and getting a, a connection now while they can. Um, what would you tell your friends at school? And I also think that it's important for them to think about the veterans who fought in the war. Why did you think that was such a special thing to do? Because, they, because the people who fought in the war helped um, helped save the Jewish people and they helped save um, us from the Germans. I can't believe it.